Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new to my channel and you're interested in looking your best, feeling your best, or maybe interested in becoming a model, definitely want to check out the rest of my content. I make awesome videos on a weekly basis where I give you guys some of the best tips. So previously I've given you guys the top 10 models in the industry, the highest paid models in the industry. And what I wanted to do today was to kind of show you guys some of the most successful models who are considered undersized or short in the fashion terms. Now, being that they're shorts, they actually average heights in real life, but in the modeling industry, if you're below 5'9 for a female, you're considered short. And if you're below 5'11 for a male, you're also considered short. So in this video, we're gonna look at some of the most successful models who were still able to break in regardless of their heights. This list excludes models who come from famous parents like celebrity kids. Um, for example, one model is Lily Depp, who's 5'3". She's the daughter of Johnny Depp. Another model is Sophia Ritchie, who's the daughter of Lionel Ritchie. She's only 5'6", and she's doing a lot of work on the runway. Not to mention, there are countless of models like Kate Moss, Twiggy, Marilyn Monroe, even Mark Wahlberg, who was a male model. Um, these models were all undersized at their time, and they were still able to break through. Okay, so the first model is Makai Lucky. Makai is also known as Prison Bay, although he hates the name because he never was convicted of any crime. He was actually charged for vehicle theft, misdemeanor assault, and probation violations. He was discovered when his mugshot went viral and then an agency reached out to him to represent him. Shortly after that, maybe even a few weeks, he started modeling in fashion shows and appearing in major campaigns. In 2018, he was one of the most booked models that year. And since then, he became a father and his career kind of slowed down. So he's taking a little break from modeling right now. Another model is Devin Aoki, who's 5'5". She was actually discovered by Kate Moss, who was one of the first undersized supermodels. Devin did a lot of runway modeling for Chanel and numerous designers at New York Fashion Week. She quickly transitioned her career to become an actress and she appeared in the Fast and Furious movies. Another model is Salida Ebanks, who was born in the Cayman Islands. She's 5'8", although her agency tends to market her as 5'9", or sometimes taller. She started modeling at 17 and she landed major campaigns and her career took off. She's well known for being one of the top Victoria's Secret models. Another model who I've talked about in several videos is Luca Sabat. Luca Sabat is actually 5'9 and a half. Uh, sometimes he's marketed as 5'10 or 5'11. His father was a fashion designer for John Galliano and Christian Dore. His mother was a popular fashion stylist. While Luca was only three years old, he was actually sitting front row of some of the biggest fashion shows around the world. He was scouted in New York and approached and when he was approached, the agents actually told him like, hey, you can actually make all this money from being a model. I can get you this campaign. I can get you booked for this. And his exact words were, sounds fire. In less than a week of signing with an agency, he actually went on to do campaigns for American Eagle and Calvin Klein. He then later built a relationship with Virgil Abloh and did some modeling for Off-White. From there, he was scouted by Kanye West to model for Yeezy's first collection. And this is where his career took off. The next model on this list is Ajua Aboa. Ajua is 5'8". She's Naomi Campbell's goddaughter. Uh, she's actually one of the top models, top black models in the industry today, and her career has really taken off. She worked as a stylist and a creative director for several designers before getting her shot to become a model when a photographer shot her for the cover of Vogue Italia. She has a personal project called Girls Talk Project where she talks about her battle with addiction and depression. Next model on this list is Cara Delevingne. Cara started at the age of 10. She appeared in Vogue Italia while she was just 10 years old. She's one of the highest paid models in the industry today, earning $10.5 million with a net worth of $28 million. She herself also struggled with depression during her modeling career. Hi, this is Emily Radikowski. We're shooting the cover of GQ and Kona Hawaii. The last model on this list is Emily Radikowski, who's 5'7". She signed with Ford Models at age four for print modeling. She did some catalog work for Kohl's and Nordstrom's. She unsuccessfully tried to break into acting several times before deciding to focus her career in modeling. She then did a lot of bikini modeling and glamour shoots. And then she ended up in popular music videos for Robin Thicke, T.I. and Pharrell. 
So guys, these are some models that were still able to break into the industry, even though many agents told them no because of their heights. So if you're watching this video and you're an undersized model, um, there's still hope for you. There are different categories of modeling, which I've mentioned in other videos, and I'm gonna leave the links in the description box down below. Some of these other categories don't necessarily have a strict height requirement. Also, I've also posted another video where I talk about how you can get taller. So definitely check those out. I believe you guys are gonna find those videos very valuable. Um, if you guys like this video, if you learned anything new, I always appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one.